Good morning YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a quick little demo of how to download, install and use Bendy Nulls, a little script that I wrote for After Effects. Um, so let's jump in and I'll show you how that's done. So the first thing you need to do is go to the download page for Bendy Nulls which is on Gumroad. I'll put a link to this in the description. You need to come in here, put in a price, it's free so you can just put in zero and you put I want this. You have to type in your email address and click get and then this will say thank you and you can click download. When this downloads you want to open it. It's important that you're using Bendinol's 1.4 so if you downloaded this when I first released it, there's been several updates since and it's a lot better now. So then you want to open it up, select Bendy Null's JSX, copy it, and then we need to install it into After Effects. So on PC, you need to go to OS, Program Files, Adobe, After Effects, Support Files, and scripts, scripts UI panel, and you need to paste it in here. Like so. Um, if you're using Mac, you need to go to Applications, find the Adobe version that you're using and you want it installed on, open that up, and then you go to Scripts and just Scripts UI, I believe. I don't think there's the support files folder like what Windows has. But very similar process when you install it into there you need to then just open After Effects and that should do it um, I'm just going to quickly go and get some artwork to apply it to I'm just going to check it on the plant guy. Ooh, that's really zoomed in. Let's just take this leaf. Let's quickly make a new composition for that. So, this is what we're going to apply the bending nails to. So, we're going to go to window. And it should be in this bottom section here with all the other scripts you've installed. Um, and it is at the top here, Bendy Nulls. I just want to check if I had KBar installed. I don't think I do. Okay. So then when you have it installed, usually it should open like this as Okay, usually it opens as a window, then you can choose the docket if you want. Mine's obviously remembering that I've had it docked before. So then what you want to do, select a layer, and then just hit this little button. This will create, if you reveal the source layer, a start and end null. So if you position the start where you want the bend to start from, and the end where you want it to end, like so. That's pretty much it. And then if you go to the effects control on the hand layer, you can then bend like this, which is basically just as a standard CC bend it. However, it has global expressions attached to these points here. And these nulls are now parent to the layer. So wherever we move this artwork, the bend remains attached which is great and I'm going to quickly it also adds this grow bounds effect so if I just go back and apply a normal CC bandit you'll see what that does so with the normal bandit you position the start and position end positions like this and when you 
bend it on a layer that isn't a shape layer you see there's this bounding box here which is pretty useless when you're using the bend so oh too far Right, here we go. So this grow bounds basically extends the bounding area so we can extend where the bend effects takes place. And because these nulls are parented to this layer, let's just add the bend first, we can then scale this layer up or we can shrink it down and the nose will be in the right place and the bend will remain how we want it sometimes when you're scaling this down as you can see there it's not very clear because it's really small but it begins to cut in and we lose a bit of the bend you can see it's disappearing there you want to just slightly increase this pixel range of the grow bounds there is an expression here to work out from point A to B but when it starts to scale really small it kind of goes a bit wrong so be aware of that you might need to in increase this number um, and I'm just going to quickly show you the difference if you create a shape layer and you apply it to a shape layer it recognizes its shape layer and it will add different expressions and with shape layer you don't need the grow bounds effect so it just work like so and this is the same for if you were to select this continuously rasterize it will apply the same expressions as if it was a shape layer so yeah it's a simple tool it just makes CC bend it a lot better and easier to use and work with so that's why I created Bendy Nulls. There is a K-Bar version. I don't know if I have K-Bar on here. I thought I did. Oh yeah, here we go. K-Bar. It's in the extension panels. So I'll show you how to quickly install it for K-Bar. I've already got it installed here, but we can do a new one. So you need to go into here, click Add Button and then you go run JSX file so then you need to browse and then you find the file so I'm just going to reference the one that was in our After Effects so I just navigate where we put that file UI panels, bendy nulls, open and this icon, if you click on this, we can change this to SVG and PNG. And then in the downloads folder, uh, where did that download? Bear with me one second. Okay, so you basically get this icon. I'm just going to copy and paste that to my desktop quickly. Ah oh, man, apologies. I'm using a trackpad today because I've left my mouse at work. Right, now we've got that on there. Let's go back to After Effects. So this icon, if you open that, you put the icon in here, you click OK, you have to put in a description, so just put in bendy nulls, and click OK, and that should have added a new button here, so now you can see I've got two, so if I hide all these, then we can just click this, and it will do the same as this button here. Like 
So, so yeah, that is Bendy Nulls. I hope it's useful. I've been using it loads since I made it. Um, that's it for this tutorial. I'll be showing you how I use this with characters in a tutorial coming soon where I'm going to be combining this with a run cycle. So if you want to see that, watch that video. But for now, take care guys.